I've been presenting at conferences for well over 10 years and I know that people like the examples. And that is a great example of how not to exude your personal brand. You can tell I've been living in uh, Seattle for a little over two years, can't you? Really full of the American spirit. This is all about you, so I'm putting you at the center of this presentation. And at the end, what we're trying to do really is make your personal brands be discoverable, more shareable, but also memorable. Challenge creativity. Oh, I've got this creative. What might be creative and resonate with one audience might not resonate with another. And what we find is that when people do this, and when they actually start writing this stuff down, it kind of assimilates and they think about it at night during rapid eye movement. And they wake up in the morning and they say, wow, I didn't realize that I'd done all those great things. And, and now this has given me the, uh, the kind of opportunity or the impetus to get up there and, 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 and do something else. Make things that satisfy needs. Think about that utility. Think about the value exchange. Take decisions in real time. It's great that everybody plans and that we've got long range visions and that we've got this, but you need to have a portion of your business and a portion of your eye on opportunities that you can pick up really, really quickly. You know, why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you an SEO? Why are you a digital marketer? Why are you a social media manager? Why are you an entrepreneur? What is it? Have you actually articulated that? It's no different than if you were a brand, having you know, a brand vision, mission, etc, etc. Why do you do what you do? 